It's bittersweet as we step away from the dip on the ceilings, the bathrooms without stall doors, prep rallies where nobody cheered, a freezing lunchroom, and the trash cans stashed in the ceilings to fix leaks. We also step away from our diverse student body, away from friends, teachers who have guided us, football Fridays, morning time in Miss Crow's room, the awkward things outside that are like ceramic animal heads, and theater kids running through the halls. It's weird knowing that the time spent in class, on the track, on the fields, and in the theater won't happen again. The place I will miss the most is here. From the first moment I walked in, I knew I wanted to be part of it. Right here is where I took my first cue when the lights came up. And when I did, I was no longer broke. I was old lady number two. I can't say I believe in ghosts, but the spirit of every play I've been in lives in this room. From the deck of Captain Butterworth's ship, where old lady number two lodged, it taught us all to have a good laugh and enjoy the course we all have in life. The spirit of the quaint hotel in Chateau La Roche taught love. The spirit of Yunush Korchak in every child's soul who departed from the world in those camps taught truth. The spirits of Susical the Musical taught beauty. And the spirit of Dwight D. Eisenhower High, home of the Fighting Panther in Macon. Of every high school student and of Linda Crow, which brought light, laughter, and life to an old, creaky stage, and the Holy Spirit which led me to auditions three and a half years ago, and will guide me for the rest of time. If I could give myself some advice for the future, it would be this. Remember the games, the track practices, the meets, the matches. Remember the cast parties and how Lance tried to be a superhero. Remember the crowds loving it. Remember all those nights of rehearsals and, and sneaking into the school at 3 a.m. in the morning because Chansey left her jacket in the stadium. Remember after our last show when we were laughing and screaming and crying because it had happened yet it was over. Are you guys ready? Yes. Are you guys excited? Yes. yes. I'm so excited. Me too. I'd say to our graduating class, and to every graduating class in the future, to take these memories into everything we do because that is what we do. It's written in our past. Every bump along the way, every tear that sparked a hug, every laugh that brought a sound. That is what I will always remember. The spotlight has grown dim, and my time is now to move on from here. And I can honestly say that we are ready. But it sure was one heck of a ride. Thanks for the memories. <laughs>